We all know that we've seen things and heard things about Cassie and Kaylin. I mean, whether we like it or not, there was talk going around the house and she knew that. There were red flags. Yeah. Tisha talked about them. With Heather gone, there are still three women here. And I think my biggest concern is still Cassie. Tasha bringing up the fact that Cassie might not be ready at the end of this and that she might be closed off to getting engaged was a kick in the gut, especially with how I feel about her. I don't want to say goodbye to Cassie, but depending on what happens today, that might just happen. How are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? Good. Yeah? You enjoying today so far? This week's been hard. Talk to me more about it. I don't know, I feel like you're not saying something. Last week caught me by surprise. Um, I was, I was shocked um, when I realized, you know, the three goodbyes that I had all told me the same thing. I really was. Because I'm not gonna lie, like, hearing your name brought up in that terrified me. And Tasha saying you could ask any of the other women in the house. That's where I get so I, emotional even thinking about it because that is my greatest fear in all I of know. this is getting to the end and somebody just going through the motions, not being ready. Like, I'm so shocked at any of those things that any of those girls would say. I don't want you to believe that. I am telling you, I would not be here if it weren't for you. Yeah. And I don't know why girls are making stuff up like that. I don't know why. And it's like, I feel so helpless because it's like, I can't even like, there's no truth to it. And I can't even like say, I don't know. I just don't know why someone would make that up. And I feel like I haven't done anything. I haven't done anything to like make them. I don't know why. Uh, I just don't get it. I don't get it. I don't even know how to like defend myself. There's no truth to it, so there's nothing I can be like, explain. I want you to believe me when I say I'm here for you and I mean it and I wouldn't be here if I didn't really, really see something with you. And I wouldn't bring you home. I wouldn't want to bring you home to my family. My family means so much to me. I wouldn't want to bring you home if this wasn't real and if I didn't mean it. I think you're amazing. I think you fit right in. I don't like seeing her upset. I think one thing for me is like, if I'm trusting my gut, my gut right now is telling me that she would have never gone to the lengths to say anything like that. It would break my heart if he ended up with someone that is not here for him or is not ready. But I don't want Tasha to come off as like she was making that up, because we know that she wasn't. Are you going to say anything? If Colton asks, I'll bring it up, yeah. I want to make sure that he ends up with the right person at the end of the day. My main focus is myself, but I'll give my honest opinion of who I'm a little bit concerned about still, because I don't want Kaylin and Cassie to screw him over at the end of this. So how are you feeling about hometowns? I feel confident in the decisions that I've made so far. I okay, can't say good. that. But there is always going to be that concern of getting to the end of this. And really, if someone's just going through the motions, they're telling me that they're there, but they're not really there. I mean, I, I just don't want you, at the end of this, to be blindsided yeah. and end up with the wrong person, because I've had to end an engagement and go through that. and I never want that for anyone, especially you. I have concerns about Cassie and Kaylin that they're just not ready. I just want to present you with everything that I know so you can make the best decision. See, and that's like, that's where it, it is hard on me because I hear Tasha, and then I spend time with Cassie. Yeah. And she tells me it's all fabricated and made up. I mean, I, I did want to ask you like, have you heard or seen anything, or did it come from Katie? After you gave your speech in 
Vietnam after Katie left. They were the only two girls that started to panic and they got very defensive. And everyone thought that was very strange. Like, why do you need to get so defensive if everything's right in your heart? That is where I am fearful of making the wrong decisions. You're going to meet people's families. I just, yeah, I want you to make sure that you're very confident going forward because it's, it's a huge step. I just don't know where the truth is. I'm hearing two completely different things from women that I feel like I trust. I think that's the most concerning thing is like, man, where did my gut go wrong? Is my gut wrong? It's frustrating. I need to protect myself, but I don't know what that means. Like, what do I do here to protect myself? I don't know. How'd it go? He asked about the Vietnam situation. And I said, okay, well, this is what I've seen. And if Katie heard that and felt strongly enough to tell Colton that people still aren't here for the right reasons or that they're not ready, like, she wouldn't have made that up. What? Why would you go spend your time talking to Colton about me? I think he needs to know all the no, facts. No, what? A lie? All, it's not a lie. It is a lie. It's, it is a it's lie. It's not a lie. I'm telling you Katie right now. Katie told the girls, and if you have a problem with it, then you need to call Katie up and okay, confront yeah, her about it. Okay, yeah, let me just it. grab my phone and call Katie right now. She's the one I'm that told telling him. You. He says he trusts Katie. Okay, whatever. If he Kirka. trusts Katie. Whatever. Okay, you you don't have anything to back it up, and it's so you don't have strange. anything to back it up. This is just it's so dumb to me because it's, it's so not, not dumb. True. It, this is not a dumb situation when it Colton's, is a dumb situation when Colton's it's so false. Heart is on the line. Literally, That's exactly. Not okay. So why are That's you not okay? bringing up things that aren't true to him? And you know what? Things I've seen. I don't that mm. are red flags oh to God. me. I'm going to bring up to him. Like if I was 100 percent sure about it, I would never bring it up to him because you're just. I never with him. I'm not with him. Yes, you I, are. I have his best interest at heart. He asked, hey, what's your take on this? Ugh. I told him. This it all just, just all like added reeks up. of desperation to me. Why would Katie say that if it wasn't true? Because I don't know. We... I don't know. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. But if you brought it to me, I might be able to talk with you about it and you'd probably see the truth. And you didn't. I'm going and off now you just of things him I've seen. With something that isn't true. And I hope you feel bad about it. I don't, because well, I... Well, you should feel bad about it. I don't have anything to feel bad about okay. because I didn't make okay, anything up, okay. and he's aware of that. I'm telling you, you're wrong. I'm not wrong. I care about Colton, I express my opinion, and that's that. Okay. What? It's like, it's either true or it's not true. It's not your opinion. Like, in my opinion, you're an idiot. I think when people get defensive and resort to crying or shutting down and breaking down, it's because they know in their heart that they're, maybe their intentions aren't right or they're hiding something. Uh, I knew today wasn't gonna be easy. I didn't expect it to be this hard. I don't know exactly what I want to do yet with the two biggest roses up until this point. So I want to head into the evening and continue our conversations and take it from there. What do you say we get on out of here? I really need tonight to just have the clarity and figure out what I need to do. And I need to be confident in the decision that I'm making tonight. So I need this evening more than anything. 